So guys, oh my camera's running out of charge. I'm gonna be really, really quick. I have been spending the whole day, apart from this morning, in my hotel room, not feeling well. If you have watched my first part of this Thailand trip, which would have gone up a few days ago, I would have told you at the very end, I actually ate raw fish on the boat, which was also in the previous vlog. And I started to feel very unwell very quickly. And yeah, that was yesterday. And now I'm just fragile, let's just say. Um, so I went upstairs to quickly do an ad and then I just lied down and I was like, I really, really don't feel well. And I think I just needed to chill out. The girls are by the pool because there's actually like a pool party going on at the hotel. Um, but drinking and enjoying a pool party, it wasn't gonna happen, unfortunately. Guys, quickly, Willie's rushing me out the door. Well, we've got someone waiting downstairs for the jet ski. But how bloody cool do I look? Again, forgot the lovely lady who actually gifted me this set, but I'm going to put her at on Instagram underneath before I fade away from the cubit today. Bye. everyone we have just literally been sat here in silence for the past <laughs> hour i had to a pic put that up on instagram at least been scrolling through tiktok there's also a massive fire so going on oh my god Madness. Oh, no, it's happening again. I oh, know, that's someone else. But anyway, it's sort of like a day off day today. As in, all there was planned was the brunch, which was this morning. We went on the jet skis and guys, lovely man. But I think there was a language barrier. This place is beautiful. So guys, we were on the way to go get some food and we saw this massage shop. So we're now getting massages from these lovely ladies. Millie, how did you find your massage? So nice. It was so lovely, thank you. <laughs> One of the, the most randomest things we have ever done, but it was still unreal. So we have just arrived at our favorite place ever, ready to get some food. Guys, I taste, I bought, so we picked a packet of crisps each and I thought, oh, these are just going to be plain, really nice, sort of like Cheeto footballs, you know the one I mean? These are good. Um, they are shrimp flavour, it was the most awful thing I've ever had in my life. Also, there are salted, roasted seaweed Pringles. Oh my god, black truffle. Wow. But What's that sweet like flavour, sweet mayo cheese flavour? Do you like wasabi? I mean, I, yeah, it's okay. It's wasabi flavour crisps. Look, barbecue, this is the sort of stuff I want. Guys, if you watched our vlog before, we are absolutely obsessed with these. Millie's sister went travelling in Thailand and she basically said these are so good. So I'm so happy that we found them. But we have literally gone crazy this shopping trip. I'm going to do a 7 Eleven haul. You. So we have noodles, noodles, sauteed barbecue crisps, Kinder Bueno chocolate, Korean <laughs> strawberry and milk, Pringles, roasted seaweed. Oh, I'm doing a TikTok try. If you haven't actually watched the previous one, then do that because it's actually quite funny. I did a sweet one yesterday. Chocolate, they look like um, Crave. Yakult because we've got upset stomachs. Um, Hershey's chocolate chips. <laughs> You're saying we need yakups, we've got upset summer as fast. We're showing all these photos that we're eating. And you wonder why we, we have upset stomachs. <laughs> <laughs> the yakups to help all of this. <laughs> why have we got so much? Dark, dark, what does that say? Sweets. 
um, biscuits and these. My cat, cat oh, files. Oh yeah, they're really, really good. But we got the cookies and cream one. And then last but not least, we were paying and we saw these and we wanted to Oh, and them. these. And we've got two toasties that are probably really soggy. But yeah, anyway guys, if you want to watch that, go make sure to check it out on my TikTok. Oh, Taste test. I'm on a jet ski. I am so happy. Oh my god, you can't really see me. But I am so happy that I am not with that guy. Just an update that I am literally on a jet ski right now in Thailand. Look how it is. So, everyone, we are now off the jet skis. Millie's got her daily iced mocha with her pineapple juice. That doesn't actually really look like pineapple juice. That looks more like a foamy. Try it, it's nice though. Yeah, mine's the same. Mine's like more like a slushy, but I've got mango and an ice latte, which I absolutely love. And yeah, we're just soaking up these views before we go to our villa tomorrow. <gasps> We're gonna miss this. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah. Have yeah. I forgot about that. We've got a private chef at our villa. So that is going to be amazing. We've just asked the hotel if we can have like any breakfast because obviously now it's lunch menu. But to me and Millie, I've literally just woken up. So they thankfully said they will do eggs benedicts for me and they're going to do Millie a bacon sandwich. Yeah. Having a very, very nice morning. It's been very nice because obviously we went on the jet skis on our own. Still haven't told you that story. Yesterday when we went on the jet skis, Millie said we needed help and I think they obviously meant that means that we want them on the jet skis with us the whole time. So when we were like sailing out, I was like thinking to myself, how is he gonna swim back? Anyway, he ended up being on my jet ski the whole entire time and Millie, the other guy being on hers, he basically said he wants to like take me around the temples and like, not in like a friendly way he said that he fancied me and that like he was asking me how old i was and stuff honestly bless him but made my experience a bit uncomfortable i think we have an ice lolly in champagne do you yes it smells like champagne or prosecco i have never had this before but how cool taste test is it just an ice lolly that is so nice we just for a second. Yum. Oh my god, this bacon Millie sandwich. Millie asked for a bacon sandwich and that looks like the best bacon sandwich ever. Are you jealous? I am jealous, but I do actually really want this as well. Off we go. There they are. And we said we're all gonna go and go on the banana boat together. There is the banana boat. Never been on a banana boat before. No, me either. We have just eaten a massive breakfast so hopefully I'm not going to keep it all up. Guys, have you ever been water skiing? I'm actually really good at it. On a boat. Banana I think banana, banana boat's going to be the scariest. That's going to be so much fun. Obviously we went on the jet skis. Parasailing would also be fun. Yeah, and also the flyboard. So how beautiful. Hi. I don't have any cash on me, but I'm going to come back. Oh, okay, okay. Because I want to get one for my mum. Oh, for my mum. Yeah. yeah. Right, girls. How excited are we on a scale of 1 to 10? Hiya. Oh, God, there's your mate. I'm excited. Who's my mate? Oh, my God, no. Yeah. So, guys, off the banana boat. And can I just say, Hello, I'm a pro. I am an actual <laughs> pro. So everyone, I've literally just bought another anchor. And that is because a lovely lady on the beach said that she would look after my watch for me. And she said, oh no, it's fine, it's fine, leave it there, it'll be fine. I'm like, oh my God, like, cause it's quite an expensive watch. I was like, a bit worried. And the whole time I was doing the banana boat, so I was literally just thinking about that watch. I don't know why I left it on the beach there but trust you know and then uh, came back and she was there looking after it and 
she was selling anklets and bracelets and I said oh I'll buy a lovely shell anklet off you and that's exactly what I did so now because we loved the random massage we had last night so much we actually are gonna go again with the girls as well this time honestly that massage place the best ever so we're just gonna shower off and then we'll head off to the massage place so everyone i look a bit crazy we thought because we're going to our villa tomorrow we will need to do we how much money running out of money it's okay this and entire though matter you know if I get money out it's not enough do you know what I mean anyway we thought that we should get our clothes dry cleaned and then it will be fresh for when we're flying home on Thursday so we just found this tourist shop on the way to our Thai massage hello hello <laughs> And we are getting our clothes dry cleaned. And that's what's happening right now. Let's go to the full moon party. <gasps> no, but that's what it says there. How cool is that? Pure pleasure thrills and enjoyment. God, they, you can do so much. A one day snorkeling trip. Smoothie Island tour. Oh, it's a taxi. Guys, these are the taxis. I don't know, what is that? So when beach Thailand. And at that lady selling stuff on the thing. Bitter melon chicken soup. Never tried that one before. This is the 7-Eleven we went to last night. We're just taking out some cash because we want to get a massage. And we've run out of money. Wow. I'm okay, but I'll show you my vlog. This is lottery tickets. Wow. Look at this. Guys, I'm having another massage. So Millie looks like a cucumber. <laughs> She's gone down. <laughs> and she's covered in cucumbers <laughs> wasn't expecting that great <laughs> like you just as a cucumber for halloween <laughs> <laughs> We have just got to the new villa. I've got hardly any battery. Oh my. This is just a bit of a weird angle. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. And um, so ladies and gents i am actually now in a completely different place i am now in the most beautiful villa i have ever stayed at um my well i think that's only 22 years of living but my birthday is day after tomorrow oh my god but anyway this is the best villa i have ever stayed in. God, that was all a bit dramatic. Cheers. So, basically, we moved villa and I knew this villa is, like, insane. Who is the person that's going to be James Bond? I want to say, like, Idris Selba? I don't know. The actor. He stayed here, like, not long ago. I think Anthony Joshua doesn't actually stay in this villa. But he actually stays in one like basically that same next door. It's like a villa complex. Honestly, these villas are like so luxury. I feel like everything about them is just beautiful. So we came here yesterday and sorry I didn't 
vlog yesterday it was because obviously we moved from the hotel i was ridiculously tired because i woke up so early because the girls said that we were going to go at half seven and obviously they fell asleep and forgot to tell us that it's actually going to be half ten which is like fine but we were literally up so bloody early which is probably quite good to be fair because we were up literally so late every single other day which meant i was just so tired and then obviously i got to my camera to start filming there you are flawless filter and i got to my camera to start filming and the thing was out of charge and the mental capacity that it takes to find a charger find an adapter charge it that that just wasn't gonna happen yesterday so i did it this morning when i woke up and now here i am so anyway we've moved to this villa lovely 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 villa had breakfast this morning i had scrambled eggs sausage some bacon tomato the lovely man made it for me there's literally like a breakfast bar huge room in this villa so you know how like vogue does like 73 questions i came up with the idea that i'm gonna do a 73 questions with Lucinda, but like a trending travel so i think it's gonna be called like 73 questions with trending travel so i think you will see because obviously i'm gonna be walking around the villa when i'm doing it you will obviously see what the villa looks like properly in that video for me to say it's like just a villa is actually like ridiculous because to me i actually feel like i'm in like a castle the gym you have never well i don't know whether you have i have never seen anything like it before like it is massive it's millie was like that gym is bigger than my gym in romford like and it's just for the people that stay in this villa which by the way it's just us four girls and then there's like a pool table there's an indoor cinema cinema it's just like unreal so i'm going to show you all that but i'm doing my makeup now to film the 73 questions and just get like some context obviously we're going tomorrow and this is just like a content place it's just like unreal every single place that this villa is beautiful like i can't wait to show you but anyway i'm going to finish off my makeup and then maybe show you little bit around yeah i will see you when i look very different to this hello guys we have kindly got given a lovely gift bag inside this water bottle it's a very good quality water bottle <laughs> and a hat oh god how cute thank you Freya's rocking the hat looking really cool Abby Lee your turn. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, I can't. Oh, oh no, but I can imagine. Just you imagine. Would look really really cool. <laughs> so, everyone, the CEO of this villa complex is going to take us to the other villa as well. There's actually like loads of different villas, I think. This is one of the biggest ones, I believe. I'm just going to have a uh, Yakult because Yakults here hit different. Obviously, they are good for you as well. You're not really supposed to have them just as like a snack. I think they actually like you can't just down them all the time so i actually am looking really forward to having my yakult a day like this is one of like the best times of the day when i can have my yakult which is really weird um anyway you walk in from here and this is what you see when you walk in and down there is mine and millie's room there's also another room as well on the right and it is just beautiful obviously i haven't done a, a villa tour yet but i will do one how lovely look at that outdoor shower as well i did get a picture in there 
this is literally a fraction of the filler what I'm showing you right now. I will later show you the rest, but I think at the moment we are going to the other one. So I'll show you that as well. Guys, we have just arrived at the other villa. It's just stunning. I don't know what I was like thinking it was gonna be like, but this is beautiful. This is very, very dodge. I need to hold this. God, why does my hand look so fat? <laughs> no, why does it look like that? This is what my hand, oh my God, it just does look quite fat. <laughs> <laughs> look, this is fat. Oh, actually, no, yeah, it does look fat. <laughs> Never thought that I've got fat hands, but maybe I don't. <laughs> look at all this here. So these are obviously oh, smaller wow. ones. Oh, Still beautiful. Villa 15. Villa 15. Yeah. Yeah. Must be about yeah. 8 million. 8 million pounds. Look, this is the tennis court, everyone. So you can get really good at your tennis. So you can get really good at your tennis. I should be an estate agent. And this is our villa here. What's that section of the villa there? What's that? Not sure. Thank you. Thank you. So thank with our you. villa, thank you. So with our, and there's another one here. So with our villa, it's like the entrance, you just don't know what it's gonna look like. And then you're like, hmm. What's going on? What's going on? What villa is this? Then, <laughs> bam. Boom, shaka, laka, oh, laka, 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 boom. Uh, it's just beautiful. So quickly guys, before I actually get changed and get more content, I might just do like a little villa tour. So here we go. So this is, oh, uh, this Lilo is personally my favourite thing in the whole entire world. Up here, you have the breakfast room. So this is actually where we got to have breakfast. There's literally a waterfall in the villa and then there's another pool but that's like a really shallow one, but great for picks. And then, so this is like the breakfast bar. And then you come up these steps, which are just insane. Round the corner. And this is the view of the villa. So it's literally, Stunning, I'm so out of breath. So you can see all of the different villas and this is the pool. How stunning. So obviously this is all of ours. It's just beautiful up here. So when you come down these steps, you can turn right. So this is room number four. Oh. Room number four is actually locked because obviously no one's using it. This room is really cool. It's got its own pool, but lots of uh, rooms do. This actually sleeps 14 people. So if you've got like children, you'd probably put your children in that room because obviously it's got a trampoline. Crazy how big this is, like, it's just mad. Like if you come on holiday with your friends, like you would all get lost. So this is one of the other rooms. 
And this is their private pool. Oh, that's actually the girls' room, this one. So, and then, this is the um, pool, ping pong, etc. like the games room. Guys, you have never seen anything like this before. How insane. It's like a full-blown cinema room. It's just like stunning surround system. And obviously this is the big screen. And then this is like breathtaking. Like this is like, what the hell? There is a basketball court, net. Down there is the pathway down to the beach. And then this gym is just for us. Just for us for us. Anyone saying this, we're like, this is their gym. Mad. And we didn't even bring any gym stuff with us, but like, Anthony Joshua stays here, like, uh, the new James Bond, um, Idris Elba. Millie said this is bigger than her gym in Romford, like, and then it gets even more crazy. There's literally a women's and men's showers, like the gym, toilet. This is like lockers. There are literally lockers. What the hell? And then obviously, this is the men's. That changing room. But imagine if you went with like two families and there's literally a woman's and a men's changing room. And open this up. Oh, so this is another bedroom so this is the bedroom and they've got their own little pool down there which is beautiful obviously the tennis courts there like we just showed and then these stairs it's literally a workout and there is another room here I think all the rooms have got different numbers this is number two and then up here and you are back to the main bit where you'll find the girls <laughs> don't even know what they're doing they're looking over the side but yeah stunning <laughs> very sad day because don't mind me drinking vodka pineapple and that is because tonight is our last night in thailand but also in this villa i have honestly had the most unreal time so thank you trending travel thank you to this villa company thank you to the hotel company i will be linking everything down below anyway but for this evening and for the end of the trip, we are going to be watching a movie in the cinema room. So I think the girls are in there now. Let's have a look. Just Millie. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the girls? I was like, I wonder if the girls are in here. <laughs> and there's Millie on the far back. Maybe. This is so cool. Can you actually imagine, right? You're in the villa, there's a cinema room. But can you actually imagine if you had a family, or even like couples, right? Seven of you. Shagging here. <laughs> no, seven of you. All just chilling. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And you've all just got a bed each, and you're all just watching a movie. Stop it. On holiday. When you want to have a chill one, when you're like really hungover, and you're like, guys, like, let's not go out tonight. Like, let's, let's get all snacks and have a bed each in this cinema room and watch a movie. Like, how unreal would that be? So, guys, we want to watch harry potter and they're not there what twilight i, love I do like twilight oh. and I haven't watched it in ages so, so um, let's watch twilight yeah do you think happy lee would be happy with that i think so happy lee yeah. oh my god so we're watching twilight <laughs> wait hold on 
good morning everyone so tomorrow is my birthday and today we are going home it's a happy but sad day um i've woken up basically i don't know what has happened with my hair up until this low ponytail my natural hair has like broken off and obviously like i'm a bit like what the hell so when I get home, I'm going to try and like sort that out because I don't really want to have like really, really short natural hair. But anyway, we are going to sunbathe for a few hours, catch a tan before we head home. I'm really, really going to miss this place. So guys, we are now at Coast Movie Airport. Our leaving was really, really sad. So we checked in and gave in our, obviously our hold luggage. And then this man was like, if you see your bag on this screen, then it's getting screen checked. And Millie's did that, obviously like, it's just it's spot checking, isn't it? Yeah. Spot check it, but like, look. It says, um, if your baggage appears on screen, please contact staff at baggage collection. So he's holding up this sign, it says, wait five minutes to see if your bag comes on screen but um yeah this is just like the weirdest thing ever so you obviously check in here and then you just stand here and you wait for five minutes oh my god is that a timer yeah yeah it's when it gets five what the hell if your baggage appears on screen please contact staff at baggage collection how hilarious guys we have just gone through security wait was there a security? Uh, not, there might be, not yet. So we've just walked through and this is the airport. Yeah. Oh my God. We're just outside. This is mad that this is the airport. This yeah. is like the... It's like the Manchester, like where you go into. Yeah. yeah. But we're just outside. Thailand vibes. <laughs> oh my god, this is beautiful. This is so nice. I'd literally spend my day here. Guys, look how pretty this airport is. You get on this really cute little thing. It sort of reminds me of, you know, when you go for like a tour, like a train. <gasps> I do a cute little pink one. But yeah, how cute is this? Well, it's so just like the cutest airport ever, I think. Oh, and all the palm so trees, yeah. <gasps> Is that our plane? Are we the only plane? Here. Because yeah. we're international, because we're going to more than one airport. These are all flying just to Bangkok and that's it. Oh. We are on our plane. It's just because we're just, yeah, it's We are now at Bangkok Airport and we have. Where's the sauces? Here. Uh, hot barbecue, plum, which will be interesting. This is actually so unreal. It's a McFlurry, but it's all grown. It's all, right, all the way through. How's your spicy McChicken? Look at your. Face. <laughs> Hi guys. So we are now on the airplane. We're so fun. How fucking cute is that? <laughs> That's the actual one. You just sent it to me. <gasps> How cute! Oh my god, that looks so nice. But anyway, Trenton Travel got us economy flights. And obviously, because it's my birthday, we were like, hmm, I wonder if we can upgrade. And we asked the desk and they were like, oh, ask on board. And we were like, oh, we're really not sure whether like asking on board whether we'll get there and they were like yeah that's fine like obviously we had to pay but i'm so excited because we're in um business um on the way back but only business from bangkok to dubai obviously i'm not sure whether we'll be 
able to do it again. Um, but obviously, they said we don't mind paying, but I cannot obviously like every single time if I would do this. It's just obviously because it's my birthday tomorrow and it's a night time for like the second one as well, so it'd be so nice. Here we are. Give you a little tour. So, this is my seat. This is my seat. And it goes all the way down to the bed, obviously. A little bar. We've got a little eye pad. Oh my god. Do you want look? I'm going to go to the bar. Basically have a few drinks to celebrate me being 23. Um, so yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. If you know me, I absolutely love Bloody Mary. <laughs> Starters have arrived. I've gone for soup and I actually really, really regret it. Um, and milk has gone with the duck breast. And that looks much nicer and I absolutely love beetroot. So. so guys, I'm literally so full. I've gone for the roast chicken with pak choy, sauce. What even are these? Like little mushrooms? What else has gone for? Is that spicy as well? Oh my god, that's exactly what I felt like. But I've ordered this, so... I don't yeah. think I really like it. Do you know what? I'm going to try some. I right, taste test. Mm. That is spicy. Millie has a spicy food with absolutely everything. I'm not even joking you. Breakfast, lunch and dinner and she's a spicy meal. My mum puts um, Frank's red hot sauce in beans, in the fire up. Red hot sauce in beans, mixed beans, so it's spicy beans. It's literally crazy. <laughs> What's your name? I wouldn't know what to say. Maria. 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 So Maria has come over because she works with Emirates and she's just said that she recognises us. Yeah. How does she work with Emirates?